hello guys i hope you are all doing well in this video we are going to continue our preprocessor directive and in this video we are going to see another preprocessor directive that is the conditional compilation so let's begin okay so conditional compilation okay let's see that i had defined a macro template and its expansion also let's see uh, adapter adapter and let's say its expansion is vga okay this we had seen in our previous video that to what macro expansion and all is okay now let's say i'm making a program right and i write hash of if macro template name a d a p adapter is equal equal v g a okay now i write line number one line number two let's say it is printf hi let's say anything anything line two line two and line three okay and i did hash else line four line five and i will end this with hash of and if now this using of condition based uh, preprocessor directive is known as conditional compilation what actually happens is that okay i had seen that adap equals to vga now preprocessor is going to check is adap is equals to vga is it true if it is true then it will modify our program our source source program something like this now it is equals to this now only the line 1 line 2 and line 3 that's all okay and it will then send to compiler okay now so here we had written the all line 1 to line number 5 but our be before going to the compiler our preprocessor will modify it and convert it to only three lines okay let's say that i am writing here not now when it will go to the preprocessor it will check it is not equals to this then the condition is false then it will go here and it will only write now line number 4 and line number 5 whatever is present there okay so this is how we use the conditional compilation a uh, important thing to use condition compilation is actually this macro expansion template or uh, macro expansion directive this is also an important to use conditional compilation okay now now why do we use it use it okay that's a question why why do we actually require the conditional compilation let's say that i have a software right and i want to run it on linux and i also do want to learn it on the windows system right now the code for let's say let's say this is os and this is its value okay let's say this is linux okay now if when the code will become when the when the operating system is let's say is for linux okay then i want these sets of uh, these sets of code should be sent to our compiler okay now what will happen that if the os will be linux then only this amount of code will be go will be uh, adjusted here and only these lines will be go in compiler and if the os is not linux then this line will go okay this is how we can use it in the real life uh, i we, i don't have to you know make two other two different programs or two different software one for particularly for linux and one particularly for windows operating system i can simply change here according to its macro expansion and that particular answer will be given okay another example could could be like uh, uh, let's say we uh, graphic card okay graphics or adapter we can say okay based on this those line will be go there and will will be compiled okay now let's see another variant of uh, conditional compilation so let's see let's say i'm writing here if os is equal equal linux okay then i can do let's say line number 1 only then hash else okay now i also can make it something ladder sort of thing okay 
hash of a window win then it will do l2 or hash else it will give me only l3 and now i have to end this if so i will write here end if and i also need to terminate this if so i will write here also end if okay now it is going to see okay the our preprocessor will see it is os equal to linux okay it is linux so it will in our void main it will only give us line number 1 and then send to the compiler okay if it is win if it is win then it will it will check okay it is equal to linux no it is not then it will go to the else part os equal to win os equals to win so it will only give us line number 2 let's say it is wins or something like no, wins is not let's say there is any other value now os is not equals to win then it will come to else part and it will send to l3 then it is correct and our preprocessor will modify it and will send to compiler okay see this is how it is beneficial the number of lines are decreasing according to our this variable okay now please note here here this part is can also be written as this entire including this hash l if os equal equal win okay then it will be l2 and hash else l3 okay this this sorry this whole amount is equivalent to this one okay hash l if os equal equal win hash else equal equal this one is pretty uh, better approach because it is reducing the line but you can you can use it in either way okay now let's see another uh, condition compilation the uh, directive that is the if def right so in in def preprocessor directive okay if def sorry if def if def preprocessor directive it will only check whether this macro template is defined or not okay it doesn't care what is the value it only sees whether it is defined or not if def if it is defined we can say something like that okay then these line will be modified hash else or if you don't want to use hash l you can just terminate it or we can also do like hash else l3 and then terminate it anyway okay now if it is defined now let's see os os is defined here right so now it will modify our source code and it will only do line 2 and line 3 and it will then send to compiler let's say there is no os okay there is nothing this line is not present let's say there this line is not present now it will see it will check whether this this template is defined or not is this defined no because we are assuming that this line is not present this line is not present okay so is it defined no it is not defined so it will go to the else and it will do l3 so it will now okay sorry it should be l4 it will go to and give us line number 4 okay so this is how it is going the role of the preprocessor is to modify our source program okay based on our conditional compilation it is going to modify our program before sending to the actual compiler okay uh, and the benefit point could be like that it is reducing the number of lines okay when we don't use when we simple use if and else like before what happens this entire code is go, goes here okay in irrespective of uh, whether this condition is true or with this condition is true true but when we use conditional compilation it modifies our program okay it modifies our program preprocessor modifies our program then send to compiler but if i am using simple if else then it here it will also write this simple if else okay if else simple if else and then it will send to compiler so this is why we use conditional compilation okay this is really good and it also be used for like when i am making program for different platform so that's kind of stuff we can do with conditional compilation okay so that's all for today's guy i hope you like the video and if you have any doubt you can comment it down and thanks for watching and i hope to see you in the next video